Hey fellow readers, today I am talking about volume one of the light novel series Dura Ra Ra. This one is by Ryogo Narita and probably best to describe it as an urban fantasy with a real heavy bent on urban. Uh, this book takes place in a district of Tokyo where there's a lot of weird things going on. There are kidnappings happening, disappearances, rumors of scientific experimentation on human beings, gangs, and a headless fairy riding on a motorcycle and wielding a scythe as her weapon. Into all of this wades a wide-eyed kid from a small town who's arrived here to go to school. You mix up a whole bunch of characters that don't really seem to have anything in common, and the book itself starts off with a number of different storylines that seem very disconnected, and eventually it all just kind of blends together into this single story that is really, really cool. One of the things that makes this novel really different from a lot of the other light novels that I've read recently, aside from the larger cast, is also the fact that the characters almost all have sort of an irredeemable quality to them. I mean, a lot of these characters are gangsters or thugs, and even the kid that's from the countryside, we find out, has a little bit of a other side to himself. The other thing that marks this as a big departure from a lot of light novels is the way that it talks about love and looks at love. See, in your typical light novel or anime that we see, love is usually a doe-eyed female falling in love with some amazing guy and then a whole bunch of other girls falling in love with that same guy and the guy is either completely clueless or ambiguous about which of the girls that he favors. In this particular one, love is intense and destructive and violent and twisted and maybe a little bit more real in some cases, but in other cases taken to an almost absurd extreme. But given the world that it takes place in, it works. In fact, it doesn't seem like the lovey-dovey love would really work in a world like do ra 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 so this one's really cool, and like I said, I mean, it has a headless fairy riding a motorcycle with a scythe, which you would think is going to make it very paranormally fantasy, but it's very, very rooted. I mean, even that character is almost just like a stronger thug than average than she is some kind of supernatural character. So again, even her character instead of being like a fairy per se, I mean she's in like a leather rider bikes outfit with a helmet that you know hides the fact she doesn't have a head and she rides this motorcycle like it's still very this gritty dark street level type of occurrence so it's very very different like we're not talking magic we're not talking all that kind of stuff like for the most part these are human characters dealing with human issues in human ways. So Dura Ra Ra is a really cool book, very very different from the vast majority of light novels that are currently in release. I highly suggest you check it out because of the fact that it is so very different and like I said even the way that it's written there's some cool things like when we're first introduced to the Headless Rider it's sort of a, the story itself is written as a third person following her hunting down these gangsters, but at the same time that she's done doing it, it's interspersed with sort of a message board messages between people talking about the rumors about her and, you know, whether she exists or not and everything else. So it's kind of neat that even the writing style is a little bit varied and mixed up and the way that the book is presented is varied in terms of its points of views and how those points of views are presented. So those are my thoughts on Do Ra Ra Ra. It is really cool. Check it out. If you like this review, hit the subscribe button. If you read this book and you have some stuff you want to talk about, by all means, leave those things down in the comments. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye for now.